Ton of repeat offenders is getting closer to the governor's desk right now at the state house under the bond reform bill. If someone commits another crime, violent crime, while awaiting trial, they would face an additional five years in prison, have their bond revoked, and if they're granted bond on the second offense, they would have to pay it full in cash. Those that support the bill believe it would make it harder for someone to commit another crime. Other lawmakers argue getting their day in court could be a bigger part of the problem. Fox Carolina's Brooklyn Cromer has more. What we keep on coming back to is that cases take too long to be prosecuted. The Senate Judiciary Subcommittee hearing testimonies from former lawmakers, bell bondsmen, and attorneys. We think about the 175,000 plus charges awaiting disposition in our circuit court and the fact that a third have been pending for over 545 days. We can do better. Lawmakers looking for a solution to keep violent repeat offenders behind bars. And so the question becomes now when we start going through this process and we got people that's in jail um, for 500 and some odd days, if that's true, then we got, we got bigger problems. With backlog trials, the dilemma deciding whether someone should stay in jail or get out on bond. In Greenwood, for instance, one of our great judges, Judge Addy, um, was gave a bond to someone who was already out on a bond for a gun violation, and he killed somebody. <clears throat> of course, he, for our judge, caught a lot of flack from our community about that. But again, the Constitution of the United States and Constitution of State, you know, basically tells him what he can and can't do. This week in Greenwood, the same judge presiding over a bond hearing for a man charged with two counts of murder after sitting in jail for nearly two years. The hurt that we've all endured and the potential for any possible uh, harm to come to any other person, I, I definitely do not agree with any bond to be set at this point. Despite Cassius Broadwater's criminal history being littered with felonies, investigators say he was out on bond when he killed his child's mother and her friend in 2021. And now facing two murder charges, he could get bond again if the case doesn't go to trial soon. I'm not in a position, Mr. Schaefer, to revisit Judge Hall's order at this time and reinstate bond. That said, I, I, will, I will put it to you like this. If the state does not move forward in July or August, if the case is not tried by that August term, your client will get bond reinstated and will get bond on these cases. I agree that it has taken way too long. Attorney Ashley Pennington says this is a problem the bill should address. In most jurisdictions, there are requirements for getting to court within a certain uh, what I'd call speedy trial deadlines. And it forces the parties to focus their mind more quickly on the cases that are of higher priority rather than letting them linger and dangle. The bond reform bill hits the Senate floor next week. So we got to figure out why we're in jail for so long because the counties are raising cane at us for, for it costing them. And so it's, it's, this, is, it's, this whole balancing thing that we have to end up doing. Brooklyn Cromer, Fox Carolina News.